Here I am at the JVC stand here at NAB 2013. We are actually shooting on a JVC camera this year, the uh, GYHM650, and it's that what we're going to talk about. Yes. Uh, Gustav is here with me. Gustav, we're going to talk about the new version 2 software for this camera. That's correct, yeah. It's absolutely one really amazing thing what we did. We promised our customers, which already bought a 650 or a 600, to do more features into that camera. And one of the exciting points is the 650. So I will get you a short overview of what we really want to do it. First of all, the camera get more codecs. So this camera has a dual encoding, so you can record on the card A in any HD format, and normally you can record on this card B in SD or web format. Now you are able to do both HD. For example, you can record on card A MXF format and on the card B AVC HD. In addition, on this uh, codec, we give a half quarter HD resolution, yep. so you get even better web format if you want to do it. Yep. This is only one thing. We added more FTP functions to go to a FTP server with the data. So what is new on FTP? First of all, we support not only standard FTP, we're supporting secure FTP in different right. forms. Yep. If you have a long shot on your news gathering, yep and you need only to transmit a short part of that, now the camera allows you inside the camera to make a cut off this piece what you need. So we call that trim function. The good thing is that the original file is untouched. So the camera itself create a complete new file. So okay. you have original and a new one. Get a smaller file, get it faster to your station. Uh, at the addition point for that one, the FTP uprun can be done in the background. For example, you are in a news gathering, you start your FTP upload, yeah. and after you started it, you immediately can go and record, right. go on. You get the information and the LCD viewfinder, yeah. and you see, you see the upload in the background. Excellent. This is not all. Yeah. What we do, and this is the most exciting point, is we give the camera live streaming. And as you know, the camera has a USB host, so you can up to a fixed wired connection, yeah. you have a, a Wi-Fi connection, yeah. or now a GSM connection, right. like 3G or yeah. 4G uh, network connections. Yeah. Over that, you have different kind of resolution and bit rates yeah. to make your live transmission. It starts from 0.8 megabit for SD resolution, it starts for 3 megabit for uh, 720p, yeah. and 90, 10, 10, 80 by 5 megabit. And this is a push service. That means that you need to edit in the camera the IP address where your service station yeah. is or your receiving unit is and push the camera to send it over. Well, there is more. <laughs> this camera, when you do that, you have to option and you know the IP address on this camera. Yeah. We added more remote function for that one. Right. Actually, you can use your smartphone, like yeah. IP pad or whatever yeah. uh, you would like to use, or PC. Yeah. You have uh, more features than a normal studio R0, or remote control. So you can control gain, yeah. uh, iris, shutter, uh, white balance, auto mode, you can everything control. So even if you are in a studio and you're yeah. doing it on stream, the studio has the possibility to change well. something on the camera broadcast. How easy is it to get the live stream? Well, if this is one setup, it takes you almost less than one minute to set up the live stream. You can put these settings on one of the user button, and when you are recording and you think, now I have to broadcast live by stream, just hit one button and the camera starts to stream. We give also more function to the metadata. Uh, issue. So the metadata is more flexible to edit. You have more control, get all the data like GPS data and everything in the metadata. The metadata you can trans, you can edit here, you can edit uh, remotely, can send it over FTP, so lots, lots, lots of function. Of course there is some uh, other improvement because if you have too much light, it gives you indication, be yeah. carefully, you are, the, the iris is too much open, yeah. it shows you up, please push the ND filter up, yeah. all this nice function which you need in the field yeah. is added to this camera. Of course the 600 has no live stream but it's also benefit on this modification so a lot of them modifications also arrival for the HM600. And the good thing for our customer, they already bought the 650 or the 600. All this update is for free.
So we will release this update round about end of April. Yeah. We'll have for, for the customers these upgrades. Wow, it's, uh, it's not a small update. It sounds like no. it's absolutely it's massive. A, basically, if the customer used that already, you get basically a complete new yeah. camera. It's the 600 or the 650. And okay. it's changed really dramatically. Your new scheduling, you get yeah. it faster and you have create lots of ideas. Well, we can go over and have a look to the streaming yeah. images. Though. We'll go and have a look at those images. So uh, we've just popped over to some screens here, which are showing the different outputs at the different bit rates. Or the live stream. Yeah, absolutely. Stream. Show us what we've got here. So uh, we, we have seen before the camera. This is what the shot, what you have. What you see here in the front is this is a hot decoder. So you, we get the stream, and this to picks it up and change it to an HDSDI signal. Yep. So we have the codec number one is here 0 0.8 megabit. This is SD quality, which we send over on this screen. On the middle screen, we see the same thing in 720p with 3 megabits. And this one with 5 megabits, we have the 1090, 20, 1080. So you see, we see the this uh, additional decoders can be from any company who is supporting this. There's another way for the customer. If you want to have the stream just on your PC, you can use the VLC players free of charge. You open the port and you get the live stream over there. Brilliant good stuff. Now you mentioned about the, the, the web control. Let's have a look yes. at that. First of all, it's a, it's a web server built in in the camera. So yeah. there's no application you need. You just open your web browser. Yeah. This web browser could be on a PC. It could be on a smartphone. So any device which allows you to open a browser can support that. This is a typical uh, image from the entry of the camera. Yeah. So what you have uh, as you're working standalone, you can press that and you, then you get open, you get a live image here on the screen. This is a motion JPEG. It's just for controlling. Sure. We have more features of that one. This is the full remote control area. So there's a lots, lots of function in that. And I speak very quick over this one. So when we go to the camera setting, you can see here, you can control full auto on off, the uh, shutter level, the iris level, the gain level is possible to control. And it's really exciting when you go to presetting, I control it, I can do even paint like on a real studio controller. And this is all possible to do just by the web browser. So you can see there's a lot of function. You can do zooming, you can do focus, you can control your user switch. You can use your on-screen menu you can reach. So everything is flexible. There is more for the remote control. There's also all the setups of the camera. When first you have a connection, you can have setups about the connections here. You can see your presetting of your networks. Everything is administratable yeah. from this point. So it gives you huge flexibility. And even you can edit here metadata, change metadata, send it to the camera, edit after that, everything is there in there. So it's an excellent tool. Yeah. Uh, everything compact built in in the camera. Amazing. Uh, now, obviously, this is the first time we've seen this here. Um, what's the availability of this update? When is it available for people? I, I said it before, this, this, for, this upgrade for the, for the people will be end of April. Amazing, good stuff. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, go and have a look at their website. We've put the link up below, and you'll obviously find out information about uh, this amazing upgrade to the GMHY650 and the 600 camera. Of course, everything that we've been doing here at NEB is on our website, which is broadcastshow.com.